Hello guys, so welcome to you next tutorial from of how to create uh, a Google Chrome extension. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new document. Mm, okay, I put this one. And we're going to put here JSON because we're going to need this type of file. We're going to name it manifest. Because this is the type of file that uh, Chrome is going to read in order to get all the necessary elements or the information concerning the, app, the extension that we're going to make. Okay, start with the name. We can take, for example, the calendar. We have the version of the extension. Let's say, for example, zero. Yes. Uh, manifest version. And we have let's say two point. Oh, and well, yeah. Here we have description. Here yeah, let's kind of put some information about the extension that we're going to make. Let's say, for example, it's going save and display the closest date. And what else do we have? That's what we do. And uh, this one. We have the permissions, and since we're going to, since we're going to like uh, display some notification, it's going to be like this. We like this one. We like, like notification. Okay. Okay, I'm feeling like there's something weird here. I think this one should be here. Okay, we need to browser action. Browser action. Oh, no. We got this one. Two points. Open this one. Okay, so default icon. I think you can understand what this little script means that you, you don't need that it's very clear and you don't need an explanation but it's okay okay for example I'm having like uh, an icon that I'm going to put one from UMG and we have default that pop uh, okay this is the page the HTML page is going to be excluded by the extension. Okay, so we're going to close, for example, index point HTML. And <coughs> you should be careful because if you put, like, for example, in PHP, it ain't going to work. <coughs> Sorry, uh, JavaScript, I think it might work, but, in HTML, but the best form is going to be in HTML because in HTML you can combine PHP, you can combine uh, JavaScript. And that's all, I guess. Okay, uh, we go to pick some uh, some picture. I guess I have one here. Yeah, this is it. Okay, here I'm called MC. Let me put the MC. Okay, making the folder just to organize some stuff here. We don't get confused later. The images and here we should add directly. Okay. okay. With images. I guess we cool. Okay, let's try. Um, 
of the examples. We have the zone and this two dot number two. Okay, great. So you can like see here that this is the pop up I made. Here are next three dots we're going to make we're going to make like this page index point html okay and Just going to check if everything is okay. Okay, let's say my extension here, just to make sure that everything is going cool. We'll go back here, and it's going to be okay. Great. Nice. Okay, so what I've done here is called the encoding. If you're interested, I can like make a video, or I can show you now. I'll show you how to do this stuff. At the end of the video, like this is the core, this is the base, the basic thing, we've already got through it. So what you're going to need to do next is, we're going to make, to, to give some format to our page, make it like, for a flower extension, make it a little bit bigger. Like this, oh, this is like this. We're going to add some buttons, we're going to add some pop-up, no, not pop up we're going to add some inputs. And uh, see you next tutorial. But before, I'm going to show you how to activate the encoding. Okay, so what you want to do is, I'm having this page. I'm gonna put it in the description below later. If you're using Sublime Text Tree, you're going to copy all of this. If you're using Sublime Text Tree, you can use like this button here, and you can copy something. Like I guess it's here. The same thing, I guess I'm not sure. Uh, we go here. Um, no. okay. Sorry. So the show comes to you. Should that yeah. And you just paste it. And then after you paste it, of course you're gonna hit enter. I think it's going to require you uh, Restart for uh, problem text. Then you go to command palette and you type install and package control. You just install it and that's it. And you restart it again and you open it. So for those who already like familiar with uh, with web development and all of that, for example, from using DR and I, and I, and I hit like control and E, control the and I got this stuff on me. Just some stuff to make it easier. So this is this is the next tutorial. Like next time, as I told you, we're going to put some inputs. We're going to add some buttons. We're going to make some good CSS, and we'll see how things go from there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you got any question, and I can like. I can help you with, uh, with all of the things I know and see you next tutorial.